In this video, I just want to give you a quick overview of how you can make ABC path uh, puzzles in the puzzle generator. Now, the first thing you want to do is open PowerPoint and make sure you've got a completely blank slide here. So if you do have any uh, text boxes or placeholders, please make sure you delete them first. And then what you're gonna do is make sure you're on the puzzle generator tab up here and then choose your trim size. So I'm gonna go for 8.5 uh, by 11, but you can of course choose any trim size here. And then what we want to do is go to puzzles and then go into ABC path here. Now the first uh, thing, the first screen is a game explanation or a how to. This is a brief text, uh, text description, how to play the game or puzzle. Now, if you want to, you can edit it. And if you want to edit it, just simply click in and type or delete what you want. If you want to include the explanation, tick the box here. If you don't, leave it blank and then click continue. Now, the first option you'll see here is if you want to have an alphabetic or numeric puzzle. Now, all that simply means is rather than um, A, B, C path, where you have to go A, B, C, D and find your path around, it's in numbers. That's the only difference. That's so completely up to you uh, which one you choose. For this example, I'm just gonna stick to alphabetic and then click confirm. Now, our first option at the top here is our color picker tool. And now we can choose our header um, color here. Now, typically, if you're creating books for KDP, it's most likely you want to have this on black, or if not black, some sort of shade of gray. Our next option here is our path color. So in our solution, what color do we want the line showing our path? Again, when creating books for KDP, it's likely that you'll want this to be a black or a gray. I'm going to leave it on the default gray here. Our next option is to choose the font and the formatting of our headers text. Now in here, you can choose any of the fonts you have in Office, or if you've added additional fonts in the export tool, you can access them here as well. And then we can choose a size, and also if we want to have it in bold or italic. Our next option is to choose a title. Now, the most obvious reason why you might change this is if you choose numeric, you might want to call it one, two, three path. Or if you are translating the uh, game into a different language, you may wish to translate the um, title here. So with the title here, what would it be? At the top of every single grid, I would say ABC path one, ABC path two, three, four, five, and so on. Our next option here is um, to start the numbering out. Now typically you'd always want this to be at one. An example where you might not want to have it at one is say you created 20 puzzles and then you decided you wanted to create another 20 puzzles. You'd start this at 21. That way your puzzles would stay consecutively, num um, the numbers would stay consecutively. So it'd be 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 and so on. Now the high title um, option here, I'm gonna untick that for now, and I'm gonna come back to that a little bit later on. So just ignore that for now. So our next option here is how many grids per page do we want? So we can choose one, two, four, or six. And then our next option, the page number, what that means is how many pages worth of puzzles do you want to create? Uh, for this example, I'm going to do five. And now we have an option of how thick do you want the solution path to be. I'm going to leave it on extra thick. And our final option here, which is particularly useful if you are creating um, puzzle books for KDP, is to have a left and right margin here on either side. Now you can choose between zero and one. I typically go for 0.75. Now we've got our settings, let's run the puzzle generator.
Now, as you can see, we have our puzzles and then we have our solutions straight after. Now, once your puzzles are generated, a further option you have is to change the formatting of the puzzles here. So what you can do, any shape that you want to um, move or adjust, you can select them like so. And then you have the ability uh, to move them in this tool here. So you just put in a distance and then what direction you want to move them. And then what that does is that applies your changes to every single page. So you only need to do it on the one page and it will apply to everything including the solutions as well. Now a final option that you might find useful is the change individual fonts. So again, what you can do, you can select the, um, the shape that you want to change the font in. For example, I'll choose our titles again and click change individual fonts. Here you can change the color, you can change the alignment, the font, the styling, and also the size. So if I bump this up to 26, click OK. And again, that applies my chosen formatting to all of the slides. Now, what I want to show you now is another way, an additional option using the bulk import and export tool if you want to have a different amount of um, puzzles or solutions uh, on each page. Because by default, the same amount of puzzles you create, up to six, will have the same amount of solutions on each page. So to get around that, what we do is, so we delete all these slides here, add our slide, delete these placeholders. Then what we want to do here is choose a square trim size so for example, 8.5 by 8.5. So if we go into puzzles and then ABC path, then continue, alphabetic, and then we want to make sure add margins is unticked and we want to make sure hide titles is ticked. And we're going to change our grids by page to one and I'm going to generate 40 pages. So once we've got our settings, we click OK. Then once our puzzles are generated, what we want to do is at the top here, click export slides as PNG. Now what we want to do here is select just our puzzles to start with. So we do one, two, 40, we do puzzles, and then we're gonna keep the image quality resolution the same. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna to go to C, Create a folder, ABC, and then puzzles. And then now that exported, what we're gonna do, we're gonna to go to export slides as PNG once again. And this time we're gonna do our solutions. So 41 to 80, type in solutions again, keeping the quality and resolution the same. And then I'm going to browse for the same folder and then create a folder in here called solutions. Click OK. Now that, now that they've all exported, what we want to do is delete all these slides here. Tap here to add a first slide again, delete these placeholders and then here Choose the trim size for your final KDP book. So again, I'm gonna go for 8.5 times 11. And then what we're gonna do is click bulk import images here. And then we're gonna select our same folder, so ABC, and then we're gonna do our puzzles first. Click OK. 
Now, as you notice here, you have a lot more options to the amount of puzzles or images you can have per slide, all the way from one up to 20. So if th for this example, I'll do eight. Now here, you also have the option to insert a title. So what I done, if you remember, in the ABC path settings was to hide the title. That's because if I insert the title here, I'll just do it puzzle, it will remain a text box, which means if I need to or want to, I can edit the formatting after rather than being attached to the image itself. If we just go down, now here we have the option to set a minimum margin or spacing. I tend to leave this on the default here and tick the um, box here down the bottom, attempt to optimize the spacing. This is because it generally um, does the best layout, keeping everything tightly knit together. So once you're happy with your settings, click OK. Now, as you can see, I have my eight ABC path puzzles per page. Now what I want to do is I want to, again, go to bulk import images. And then this time select our solutions. Again, you have the full variety of images or puzzles you want to have per slide. It doesn't have to be eight again. I'm gonna choose 20. I'm gonna change the text here to solution. And then I'm gonna keep all the other settings the same and then just click okay. And so there we have it. We have our eight ABC path puzzles per page here. And then at the end, we have our 20 solutions per page. I hope this quick video gives you an overview of how to use the ABC Path Puzzle Tool. Thanks for watching.